Hi everyone, this is Sunish Surendran, the blogger of ITinfraTutorials.com. We are going to discuss about few of the tools that we used in uh, CI/CD and DevOps. We are dealing with Docker, Docker webhook, Google Apps Scripts, and your email. So this is not a basic uh, tutorial. So it talks more about the Docker webhook. So I named this video as Docker Hub webhook with uh, Google Script web app. So that that is pretty good. I feel there is a container. Uh, we will do commit the container and we will push that uh, image into the our repository, Docker Hub repository. Once it reaches to Docker Hub repository, our web webhook web will trigger some of the Google app script, web app script we create. So that will get triggered and it will send a uh, mail into the user. Actually, the user also, uh, I mentioned myself. So because I don't have another person working with me. So uh, in this video for me, I will be pushing the image and I will be using the mail. So in your case, it will be, you will be pushing the image or some other will be pushing the image to the repository and it will be received in the um, team's email ID or uh, different people uh, who works on it. So they can understand that, oh yeah, there is a Docker image created and pushed into the repository. There is, a, there is a new image available. So let's see how it is working. So I just want to clear off what all things we'll be covering in this video. So um, uh, we have a Docker image created that will be pushed into Docker Hub repo. So the viewer should know what is Docker Hub repository and what is Docker, first of all. And they should have a Docker Hub uh, uh, account. Yeah, that is mandatory. So uh, next thing is, uh, they should know a basics of Google script, where, uh, how to create a Google script, uh, how we can use, how to deploy a web app. So I will also be covering that. That's uh, it's pretty easy. So let's go and see uh, practically how I am doing and how I am receiving a mail. So actually I created a, a Docker image, uh, which is, I just downloaded an Nginx Docker image from the uh, Docker Hub repository and I modified some of it. And I just want to push into my um, Docker Hub repository docker commit uh, command to commit this particular container this is the container id and i want to push into this uh, name so uh, let's commit it yeah okay i committed the uh, image then now i want to push it let's hold here let's go and see what is there in the um, docker hub So this is my Docker Hub repository. You can see my name here and I have two images. If you click here, you can see the versions of the images which I created. Uh, so there are, there are so many versions I tried. I keep on modifying this particular image. So this is still 23, uh, there is an image. Uh, which I pushed uh, 80 minutes ago and its size is 48.65 MB. Now let's go and see uh, my webhook. You can see here uh, there is a webhook option uh, to add a new webhook also and give the webhook uh, URL. So uh, now your thing is like you have to create a URL which will be listening to our changes, right? So that's how uh, the our uh, the second part comes into picture where we are using the uh, our uh, Google script as an uh, web app. So uh, let's go and explore what is uh, how to create a, a a web app in Google scripts. So this is my actually uh, created one. You can search uh, in internet. Uh, go and search in Google script. Uh, internet will show you uh, it's like an app script and you can go directly into the Google app scripts Okay, and you can click on the start scripting There are so many videos which say how to create a web app using an, uh, uh, a Google script So I don't want to repeat all those stuffs because you can also watch that videos and understand it So uh, now uh, if you don't have any project it will ask you to create a project like you can click new project and create your own project project so it will go to a new project see once you create a new project it is saying that a function my, uh, it will just give you function my function and this is where you have to put your code inside it 
and you are now thinking from where I can create a uh, get that URL which I can paste it in my uh, webhook so uh, if you publish it as like a, a deploy as web app and I'm mentioning some uh, some name yeah Sunish Uh, saving the project this means yep yeah. uh, deploy as a web app yes I want to deploy as a web app and execute this as an me and it can be accessed from anyone so I am just mentioning who can access it anyone because I am accessing from an another account uh, so I just want to give this and deploy it so now we got the URL. So this is the web URL that you can paste inside your web hooks. Okay, this is the one like this. I created one uh, web URL. I went back here. I I just typed Google scripts and I pasted the URL. Okay, create. So this will create a webhook. So any changes in this repository will be informed into this URL in a basic manner. I am telling. Actually, it is a post method is used to send some calls, and it is a JSON format, and also uh, that you can go and check how the API calls will happen, uh, how it communicates uh, between two two things. Uh, so that I'm not going to cover now. So I'm just showing how to do a webhook uh, to your Google scripts. So like this I created the uh, current webhooks under that you can see that there is a Google script name I given like this and I just mentioned one of the URL here. Okay. I am ready with my Docker Hub repository with the webhook. Now the logic comes. So what we have to do? You can say uh, see that I am just listening to a uh, request I'm, and I'm getting the uh, JSON uh, value from it and uh, once I get the JSON value I know how to uh, like how to how to segregate it uh, what is the tag I have to get it uh, from the JSON file so uh, that you can that I will be covering in an another video saying that what is the request actually passing between these two uh, things uh, what is the JSON file it's passing so there is a JSON file actually. Actually, so um, this is one tag uh, which I am get try to fetch from the JSON. And this is another tag, and this is the another tag. So what are all those things? I am getting the repo name. I am getting the Docker image name actually. And so what happens next? So if the request is not undefined, let's go and run this this particular uh, code. So I'm saying I am using uh, one of the inbuilt uh, thing uh, function uh, which is called mail app uh, and I am want to mention which mail I have to send you can mention your email ID and what is the subject so I am mentioning new docker image uploaded to the repository and what is the body of it so uh, the body says that please find the details of the docker image uploaded to the repository and the repository name and what is the docker name uh, and what is the image version it is uploaded that is the only few things we need to know uh, when a, uh, a docker image is uploaded to a repository right so uh, this is a simple uh, uh, google script code which will uh, send an email with the simple uh, details of that image so this is my repository i will go here general i don't have to change anything here and uh, google scripts anyway uh, it is there uh, it's it's there it's I, i'm calling it as a test and i don't want to do any changes because the script is okay and uh, this is my uh, yeah, mail where it i will be receiving the uh, mail sent from this particular uh, google script so let's close the other windows but now i am just going to push the uh, image okay I am I want to push the image of name this and the version of 24 Let's wait for a few minutes. Yes, uh, the uh, actually I did uh, the same uh, uh, build a uh, image uh, again pushed into the repository that's why it's saying that the layers already exist so if I go and check here and I refresh yeah 
you can see that v24 also uh, came uh, because it pushed from my local machine into the docker hub and the user will get a message so i am the user so I, let's go and see i got a message or not yes i got a new mail let's click and see what is the content of it yeah new docker image uploaded to the repository this hi team please find the details of docker image uploaded to the repository this is the repository and what is the name of it nginx sunish yeah okay and the version 24 okay so another using who's sitting in another country can understand that okay sunish pushed some uh, application into his repository so this is how you can integrate and make other people understand that there is a new image in your uh, uh, repository also uh, in your ci cd and if your pipeline needs to and, uh, run when a image is uploaded the same concept you can apply so or there you can there is a good integration between jenkins and uh, docker hub the same concept works there also so you can try all those things uh, in your uh, production environment or in your test environment better try in test environment first so this is how what i want to show you uh, in this video uh, all these things uh, script everything is available uh, in my github repo so you can go and get it and you can also try all those things and understand how it works so back to our uh, slide uh, so this is what i am showed today we have a docker image i want to push that docker image into docker hub and docker hub will trigger a call to my google app scripts and what google app script will read and some logic saying that okay get the details from the docker hub and send a mail to the user so this is the simple thing that you can integrating between how to send a mail when a new image is came coming into the repo so this is a simple video that uh, which will understand you how it works and you can also so try it out so uh, for now i'm signing out okay thank you for watching the video